Yeah, can I cut it off? Wagwan Sports fans, welcome back to another episode. I'm your host, Joe Mar. I am Rush. And this is Decide at Sports TV, the place you guys come to get the best, most interesting, and riveting sports topics, discussions, and debates on the whole internet. Yes, yes, people. So it's reggae girls' time. And the first match is over. So we're going to be discussing that match. And then, you know, talk about the upcoming fixture against Dominica Republic today. But before we go to that, before we go to that, bro, how do you feel about the girls right now? New players into the squad, you know, you know, a big performance. How do you feel about it? Yes, yeah, so I'm disappointed that we, we, we haven't got the chance to speak about them yet, but we're speaking about them right now. Yeah, yeah. And there is one word that I would use to sum up how I felt about that game versus K-Man. Not one word, two words. And those two words are Marla Sweat, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, I this girl had her paws on every single thing in the game. She was a general. She was the supreme number eight that every team needs. The way how she was playing the ball, the way how she was making plays, getting assists, getting long passes in. Bro, you know what? I, I'm not going to compare them to the girls. I'm comparing to the yeah, person yeah. who plays her position. Let's talk, about, let's talk about the girls, the man. Yeah, I'm tempted to do that. But, yo, she's big and she's strong and her half turns are sharp. She keeps the ball moving forward. You get me? I say, not laterally. She's mm -hmm. aggressive, yo, and her quality just reigned supreme. So she made me very excited. But besides her, there were other girls who came in, like Paige. She did a number, you know, she was really aggressive. She looked like she really wanted to be here, the Leicester City girl. And... Mm -hmm. Overall, bro, we just looked way better and sharper than we did in the first window. You know, I was I was impressed by how we played. And keep in mind, we had and we had numerous opportunities to make the score be even greater than it is. For know? sure, for sure. What do you well, think? We've been calling for a big score now. We never want, mm -hmm. we want to see something more than six for sure. Yeah. You know, against this type of opposition, we were supposed to be giving nine, tens, elevens a long time ago. So yeah. I, I'm glad that he finally arrived. I must say, though, I only watched the first half. So I didn't get to watch the second half. But Marla Sweatman stood out for me. You know, Paige, what I like about Paige, you know, I were talking about these two players because, you know, they, were, they, they weren't here in the last window. Mm -hmm. um, what I really, really like about Paige, though, bro, that girl seems to be going at it 100% every single position. Everything, every single time she has the ball, She's trying to make something happen. You know, other players on the field are not necessarily, you know, sometimes them calm it down, sometimes them give, you know, them pull out a tackle, sometimes them this, sometimes them that. But Paige, you know she'll give you 100% every single time. But I like how the girls look, and I think I'm excited for the DR game, bro. And even for the next round, because I think we mm. will make it to the next round. Yeah. And you know who stepped up? Um, Trudy Carter really finally came to play football. Yeah. Trudy Carter really, really took up that number 10 role, and she was very impressive in this game grabbing herself a hat trick you know um she she started out with high tempo you know her touches her touches were good her passes were good her um runs and cuts were amazing you know truly carter had a good game but we'll talk about that a bit later in this video all right you know what let's start talking about it right now let's go ahead and just give a quick match rating of of some of the players, not even I would say, I never watched the whole game in the summer. My, my, my ratings might not be as accurate as yours are. Mm. Everybody else. All right. So, um, you know, in goal, Spencer, she didn't have much to do. Right? So, we're not even going to go ahead and rate her. So, Shana Campbell at, at the left-back position. Um, we still, saying, need, still need a little bit better from Sashana. Yeah, and what I would have seen is that when Khadija came off, Sashana Campbell was the one who, who, who done the armband. Mm -hmm. That was interesting. Right. However, um, from all the information that I have received, she's not playing in her natural position. And mm -hmm. probably that's why she doesn't look as dominant. She definitely looked better than she did in the last window. But I still think we struggle in that left-back position. Um, the two central defenders, uh, as I said, there wasn't much for them to they, do. You know, the Cayman Islands didn't take a shot, right? Not even yeah. one shot. Alison, Alison Swaby, though, yo, she was getting forward and she was driving into the midfield, making runs and making passes. So that's very exciting. As I said, through, through the character, an outstanding game. You know, Khadija Shah, I still think, even though she managed to bag a hat trick, 
Mm-hmm. Kedija Shaw is leaving a lot to be desired. I do think Kedija Shaw is our most talented player. And I think we want to see more dominance from her. She really, yeah, she, she really does look reserved. And do you think yeah, that's she take, a, she, she take a minute for getting at all of the games. You know, she she's trying to be a little bit too pretty. When I really, sometimes she really should just turn and kick the ball into the goal. Yeah. You know, sometimes she's like, trying flicks and some pretty passes. And fine. I like it when we're 9 nil up. But when we're 5 and we're getting chances upon chances upon chances, and we're not taking them. Come on. So, Kitty Joshua, her quality is always going to allow her to get a lot of goals. For sure. She she such a position. Exactly. So if but, she get if she gets seven chances, she'll score three. Yeah, I mean, and she's going to get a lot of chances. So uh, our captain for now, you know, uh, and we need her to we need better performances in the next round. So right now, keep building sure. on this. And this is what I want to see. Building on the performances. So last window, it was okay. Matter of fact, it was a little bit underwhelming. Yeah. This, this window now, it seems like we're building. And I want us to put I want us to put the air down. Yeah, I'll go to bed. I'll go to bed on Tuesday. Um, Marlos Sweatman, as we previously, sp- as we previously spoke about, you know, absolutely amazing. She's definitely the person for that role. And we started with Chanlu Asher again, you know, and she did her normal shift. She was playing deep, but she did get high at times. She was being creative, and I, as I said, the opposition wasn't that threatening, so we didn't necessarily hold her shape that well yeah. because we had. Like a front line of about eight going straight across, essentially. That what that's what we were doing. So not necessarily tested, but I like what we did with what we with what we had to do it against, if that makes any sense. You get what I'm saying, bro? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, bro. Name the other players, man. As I said, I never watch a whole game. Somebody even oh, never tried um, some ratings. So. Yeah, so uh Jody Brown, you know, Jody Brown, she she was exciting as usual. You know, Jody Brown is always somebody that will always give us energy, you know, give us determination and drive. And she did that once again. You know, I still think Jody Brown needs to be, needs to be more clinical, bro. Yeah, that's the word. Goal. I that's still the word. think Jody Brown, you know, leaves a lot to be decided as it relates to her finishing. But Jody Brown as a player, her intent, you know, um, her talent, her ability, amazing. Tierney Wilshire, um the right back i was not very impressed with with what she she, she offered and i really do think um do think more more can be more can be expected you know um i must say i must say what i saw from wilshire i think the last window band flaza was done in the right back right i feel yeah. like that was a better that was a better showing from a right back but i think i'm wondering if Douglas, Wilshire is out of Douglas. position. Douglas. Douglas, Douglas is a good option too at the wing back yeah. position. Remember, she right. did so well. Yeah, she did well. So I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm wondering if Tony Wilshire is out of position. Maybe. As I said, one flowers that apparently did not get called up to the squad for this round of game. So let's see. Um, I think Tony Tony Wilshire will get the nod again in the next game, or maybe Douglas will, but you know, um, who knows? Um, Shade came on, you know, she she was very good. McCoy came on and scored a really good goal, you know. Um, I'm impressed with what she came on to do. The last game they had her play in a deeper role. This time she came on as a number nine for yeah. Kedisha Shah. And I've been hearing that McCoy is a forward, McCoy is a forward. Well, she was finally played as a forward and she showed her class. She in that well. So that was a, a quick roundup of the players, you know. The players who played, but we want to get into the dam rep. That's the big match. Yeah. Um, this is the, the hardest game of the at the at the group. This is supposed to be the hardest game of the group. This is the group yeah. finals. Right, there we go. And anybody, if we draw this game, we're good. Yeah, all we need to do is just not lose the game. Mm-hmm. And I think Jamaica is good enough to not lose this game, but I don't only want us to not lose the game. My expectations are I want a big win from Jamaica. Make a statement out of DR. Yes, they are the closest to us in our group. But they are not close to us overall. Mm-hmm. So let's just put them aside and give America, Canada, USA something to worry about. Because, make- trust me, they have been giving us things to worry about. So there let's do the same. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. So um, my thoughts going into the game. Well, so by in a park, well, that's new. You know, we're excited. Of course, this are that sports TV will be at Sabina Park. That's a must. 
you will be seeing our faces. We'll be right there on the field. It'll be a different experience than what we're used to. But we're looking forward to it. Um, my expectations going into the game, as Rush stated, I definitely expect a win. And I definitely expect to outplay and dominate the Dominican Republic. So what I still want to do is see a style of play, you know? I still want to see Marla Sweatman marshalling everything. You know, I still want to see um, through, through the Carter pulling the strings right behind the forwards, you know, making runs, scoring goals. Paige, again, keep keep being her outstanding self. That That is why she's playing for Leicester. Well, yes, so she, I, display, she displays Shade for now. Yeah, well, as I said, I saw, you know, Shade come on. Um, she did well when she came on. Good on the left wing, yeah, but but Paige, as I said, the quality Different gravy. Herself, she's played in the Premier League. Right? So that that there's a reason for that. Mm -hmm. So I just want to see this team continue to play like a cohesive unit, continue looking like how they did against Cayman and even build on that. Uh, continue playing good football. Khadija Shah, I want to see an assertive performance from her. From the from kickoff to the final whistle, I want to see her going at it. Full hundred, you know, scoring goals, not being cute, not being pretty. Just using her size and her strength and her ability to just get goals, you know. Try and get another a, another hat trick under adverse circumstances. That's what I'm challenging Kadija yeah. Shah to do tomorrow. There we go. I agree with everything that you said a while ago. But before we go, bro, what have the big question? And people see the title. That's why they're here. The reggae girls are going to the World Cup. Too early to say? Or it looks good? No, definitely too early to say. Definitely too early to say. I'd say way too early to say... Um, I'm not willing to go anywhere close to an assertion like that. Obviously, I am a Jamaica fan. You know, I am a reggae girl fan. And as such, I am rooting for them. Completely biasly rooting for them. Wanting them to go to the World Cup. Right? However, I think it's way too soon to make any kind of determination like that. All we have to do is see them play tomorrow. You know, see how Vin Blaine puts the team together. See how he manages the talent that he has. Because he does have a lot of talent. And... After that, after tomorrow's game, we can speak about the other games around the ground and we can talk about their prospective opponents in the next round. In the summertime, bro, it should be really interesting. And then we can we can then make the assertion whether or not they will go to the World Cup. Yeah, I agree. I think it's a, a bit too early. We're still in the first round. We're not even in the in the, in the, the business end of the qualifiers yet. Yeah. So a little bit too early to call. So people calm down. Enjoy what you're seeing from the reggae girls, but make no World Cup statements just mm -hmm. yet. We that people. Can I run it up, bro? Yeah, man. So before we go, um, as I said, the CONCACAF Women's um Women's Championships is in the summer. And that will determine that will determine whether or not the girls go to the World Cup. And if you guys want to see this or that sports TV at that competition, yeah. all you have to do is just like, comment. So that YouTube can push our videos. And then you push the videos yourself. Share it to at least five contacts. Because if each and every one of you guys can get us five subscribers, rush. If they can do that by today, don't you think that we'll be at the CONCACAF WS competition in the summertime? But that is a must. So guys, just help us help you get the content. You know what I mean? Just do the thing. But with that said, this is this or that sports TV. And we're out.